Welcome to Amazing Projects. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at the Chinese plan to build thousands of miles of canals to secure the water supply for its bigger cities. China's grand plan to divert dozens of billion cubic meters of water annually from the Yangtze River in the south to northern regions through three canals has been talked about since the early 1950s. The government has not revealed the exact amount it is investing in the project, but previous market estimates put it at around 500 billion yuan. The Eastern Canal follows the direction of the historic Grand Canal and passes through the provinces of Jiangsu, Shandong and Hebei. The Central Canal, with a length of 1,432 kilometers, starts from Danjiangku Reservoir in the central province of Hubei, while the Western Canal starts from three tributaries of the Yangtze River near the Bayanha Mountains and passes through the provinces of Qinghai, Gansu, Shanxi, Shangxi, Inner Mongolia and Ningxia. China approved construction of the Eastern Route and Phase 1 of the Central Route in 2002 and 94.2% .2 was completed by the end of last year. The total volume of water diverted was 9.7 billion cubic meters in 2021, equivalent to 3.2 million Olympic swimming pools. As of the end of 2021, some 49.9 billion cubic meters of water has been diverted since the Eastern Route was opened earlier that year, according to the Ministry of Water Resources. In addition to concerns about investment, evaporation and environmental damage, the resettlement of local residents is a major challenge for the project, with government data showing about 330,000 people living near the Danjiangku Reservoir and along the Central Route had been forced to shift. In May, Xi visited the Central Route and hosted a symposium where he said the project was justified to meet the needs of people as well as to ensure ecological safety and sustainability. Authorities will push forward with follow-up projects along the Eastern and Central Canals, while also beginning the early stage work for the Western Route, Minister of Water Resources Li Guoying told the 2022 annual work conference in January. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating topics and amazing projects. Also, tell us in the comment section what topic you want us to cover next. See you in the next video.